I was hoping that they would give us some kind of steps as if this happens again, do we evacuate? What's our procedure? Who's going to be giving us this information? What happens if there's a lockdown, right? Um, but unfortunately, we didn't get any of that. Emails half an hour or an hour or even in one case 15 hours after the event was not enough. Mm -hmm. um, that there needs to be up-to-date information. About 100 staff and students of York University's Glendon College packed a lecture hall this afternoon. They're frustrated with a lack of concrete answers about how their school handles safety threats. Now, that meeting wrapped here about one hour ago, and the town hall was set up to address the seven recent incidents of hate that happened on this campus in just one month's time. All seven incidents featuring anti-Semitic or anti-black graffiti written inside a first floor bathroom. The messages have since been scrubbed off, but faint swastikas etched into the walls can still be seen. Now, six of those incidents also contained a bomb threat resulting in the school's evacuation. But the school's principal says one of the most eye-opening things to come from today's town hall is that students were not getting vital information fast enough. Do you think your safety protocols or communication systems do need to be overhauled in light of these seven incidents? Uh, I, I think so, yes, uh, especially in terms of communication. Um, we, I, I just realized during, during this meeting we were sending out the, some of the messages, but some people are not in the right list. So these are seem like details. We think we're doing the right thing, but we're not. So definitely we have to revise all the protocols, make sure that people are on the list, and, and um, we're, we're, um, we're uh, uh, reaching out to everybody. So I, definitely we have to do better. Now, two police officers from the Toronto Police's hate crime unit were also attending the meeting here today. They say they are taking it very seriously. However, at this time, there have been no arrests.